Hey guys, Patrick Reed. Just want to give you all a little advice on my scoring secrets. There's a difference between being aggressive and having an aggressive mindset. Growing up as a kid, I watched Phil, you know, do flop shots from everywhere and you know, that's the most fun to kind of mess around with is your lob wedge, just go around, hit the spin shots, hit out of the bunkers, hit the mega flops. And you now growing up as a kid, that's all I did. So it's the one club I feel really, really comfortable with. And I feel like when it, whenever it comes down to whether I have the whole green to work with or two yards to work with, I feel like that's the one club I can pull out and be you know, really aggressive with and have a chance of making it. I feel like, you know, that's the one area in your golf game on short game when you're hitting, you know, short shots or scoring shots as we would call them. The more aggressive you are on those, the shorter chances you are on birdie putts for, you know, birdies or even if you're trying to get them down for par, you have a shorter par putt and it just feels like that's where you can really score. Trying to be really aggressive from 200, 250 yards you know, you, you miss it, that shot, that ball's traveling a long way, so the miss is gonna be greater and you're gonna probably leave yourself in not the best spot. Uh, mainly whenever I'm putting, especially on the long putts, you know, a lot of people think about trying to get within the three or five foot circle from long distance, but you know, I feel like whenever you try to do that and if, if you hit an okay to decent putt, you could end up three and a half, four feet away, rather than if you try to make it, you're focusing on a smaller target, so if you happen to miss it or anything, hopefully it's inside that three foot circle. And I feel like if you aim small at a smaller target, your miss will be small. Almost it feels like when I'm hitting these chip shots or even these putts, I work from the hole to the golf ball and it's almost, okay, I know exactly where I'm trying to get the ball to go. That's the hole. I know, you know, kind of what direction it needs to enter the hole, where it needs to land. And then by the time I'm actually hitting the golf shot, it's more reactive to my picture on what I'm seeing rather than focusing so much on perfect technique or anything like that to get the ball to go to a point, I'm more reacting to what I've seen and what I'm trying to do than really focusing on trying to make the golf shot to land it at a certain point to make a release to the hole. Everything I do, especially around the green, is real feel oriented, but when I start seeing patterns where I'm not hitting the ball as well as I'd like to, especially around the short game, it's mainly, you know, checking the club path, if it's too far left, if you know, I'm getting too handsy and wristy with my hands, which is affecting the club face. Or, you know, sometimes I get angle attack, get too steep, which is, you know, more because my lower body moves too quick or I drop my right shoulder. So those are mainly the three points that I focus on just to kind of, you know, almost reset my patterns on making sure I can just get back in that feel motion.